morning friends and welcome to another edition with Bradford this is a special webinar we do every thursday it's called unlock brand with bradford now this is a series which we started to bring in larger knowledge about how licensing as an industry really works what kind of impact which we can see in markets like india and overall global emerging trends in licensing so today i have a very very special guest and also a client of ours uh, mr jent i uh, who's also seen for sky electronics very experienced gentleman uh, somebody who has seen licensing very very closely electronics uh, uh, is one of the mature categories of uh, this is what we have seen in the years and years especially in india this is one of the first generational licensing programs which came to the market uh, so they are already having a licensing for rights for acer daiwu jvc and couple of other companies so we'll start with Jen, thank you once again uh, for coming on our our uh, platform and talking about the Sky Electronics and and your own journey and how uh, you see this uh, you know shaping up in times to come. And let's start with maybe giving a little overview about how Sky Electronics was born and how licensing happened. It was a long term vision uh, which you set. So over to you. Right. Uh, thank you. Thank you, and good morning to everybody. and uh, first of all uh, thank you to mr gaurav and watsal and uh, bradford team for giving me this opportunity so what uh, of course today's business itself i think licensing is the major part in the business businesses are driven by licenses licenses agreements basically what i mean to say is licenses and agreement is the part of business so one needs to be carefully handle this segment as well of the business as far as uh, sky electronic which is a uh, part of uh, matri group companies because we have various companies and sky is one of these companies so i would like to give you overview with a small presentation which uh, we normally show for our company so i will just uh, share the screen with the presentation and so of course first slide is welcoming everybody so in this uh, part i'll be talking more about our electronic business because uh, we are uh, under the group we are doing various businesses so this uh, presentation is basically for electronic consumer electronic and electronic more or so business and uh, we our company sky electronic private limited is dealing in electronic business and it mainly deals with the consumer electronic business because in electronics we have two separate division one is consumer electronics and other one is professional electronics we call so professional electronic is dealt by another company called matre electronics private limited so basically sky electronic consumer electronics and matre electronics is a professional electronics and then we have a third company which is future tech electronics private limited which deals in the sales and marketing department of our companies so basically sky electronics looks after manufacturing and marketing and sales is looked after by future tech electronics but again this is consumer electronics part our management team of course mr sudhir matre is our chairman who started uh, this company and group as such then satish mulasi joined us he is again senior season professional in this consumer electronic business and so so forth all people are experienced people and of course our vision and mission is again very clear we want to grow in the market we want to give benefit to our shareholders and basically top line and bottom line of the business but basically our objective is to 
cater to the requirements of customers in electronic business. As such, our group is uh, more than 30 years old. We started somewhere in 89, and then we gone ahead. Sky Electronics started in 1999. Of course, it was small beginning, and then we grow into various companies. This is basically how we have grown. So we started in 1989 with the uh, audio and video trading sort of business. Then we went into the manufacturing business. And then around in 1990 onwards, we started realizing the importance of various brands in the international market. And that is how we got associated with various brands in broadcast industry, consumer industry, cable industry, and now even machine vision and other industries. Of course, we started with the color TV manufacturing. We had various other unique products as well, such as uh, 90 channel uh, expansion kit, which uh, was very hit and popular in those days because people were having only two channel televisions and we used to give them a kit which can be fitted into television and which can be converted into 90 channel television. That was hit in 1990 because uh, earlier TVs, earlier there were only limited channels and TVs were two channels. TVs were having two channels only. That was a hit product and we sold, I think, millions of pieces. And that is how company got strength out of it. And then, of course, in 1997, uh, we started representing JVC exclusively in India. Then we started doing satellite products. Then we got into consumer electronic with VCD, DVD products. Again, innovative product, good response from the market. Then we started multimedia speaker systems. Of course, then we started uh, energy saving products, then MP3, MP4 manufacturing we started. That is how we have gone ahead. In 2018-19, we started DEU products manufacturing in India, manufacturing sales and service. And 2020, recently we have signed agreement with Acer for small appliances and medical devices. So that is how our journey is. And uh, we represent, of course, some of the multinational brands, such as of course, various brands, but major brands are JVC, JVC from Japan, Tamron from Japan. Tamron is in lenses. JVC, we are representing their professional division because JVC is a big company. They have various uh, divisions. What we are representing is a professional division, which includes broadcast-related equipments and video surveillance-related. And Tamron, of course, is a lens company, well-known lens company, Neo, then Deu, and Acer, and so many others. So these are the company which, uh, which brands which we are representing in India. Basically, what we are doing is uh, their sales, marketing, and service in India. And in some of the cases, now we started manufacturing for these brands as well. So product selection, product manufacturing, and product related activities are also involved now uh, in some of the brands. Basically, they were a sir. That is how new trend is. Sky, now we will be talking more about Sky Electronics. So, Sky Electronic, which deals in consumer electronic, was started. Of course, we made a separate company because group was there earlier as well. In 1999, we formed this company. Current turnover is around 900 million. We have around 125 plus manpower. We have skilled manpower of 35 plus. And we are doing manufacturing activity in Sky Electronics. We have manufacturing unit of around 40,000 square feet and install capacity of around 500,000 units manufacturing. Of course, we have some strengths as well, which of course you need to have strengths and we need to exploit those strengths. So we have experienced uh, team, then uh, we have well-known board members who are well-known in this consumer electronic, consumer industry. We have manufacturing units. We are situated in uh, Bombay, which is a business center. And of course, we have services, expertise in sales and marketing and service all over India. 
and these are the products currently we are dealing in led tvs refrigerators washing machines speaker systems tv accessories and small appliances of course these are the major brands which we are representing mepl is our own brand deu is another brand which we are representing in india and acer is the newly newly added brand in our category now i'll just show you the various just i'll go through these product lineup what we are doing speaker system air coolers then washing machines and then some accessories like screen guards and other things same is then represented in eu now along with the brand arrangement or agreement or license what we have the important part which comes in after signing the license or agreement with these brands is the brand positioning of course we do all these study before we get into the agreement because we need to be very clear in uh, understanding the brand strength and where we want to introduce these brands so basically deu brand our idea was to introduce in a category because b category we were having our own brand and uh, that is how we can expand our business that is how we can increase uh, our business rapidly so that is where deu brand came in so a category brand deu and b category brand mepl and that is how we are catering to more customers so that was uh, and of course acer also we are planning to get into a category brand for that particular segment small appliances segment and then of course various advertisement because brand with proper marketing strategy will be the success only brand is not going to make give you success what you desire to so it has to be always a brand agreement along with the good strong strategy and marketing helps you to get into that positioning of win win situation so marketing plays very important and critical role in this case of course these are just to give you an idea we were doing advertisement various advertisement along with that what is important uh, once you have a, a good proper brand once you have good strategies for marketing and proper marketing uh, activities are done what makes you makes most important thing other thing is after sales service so i think if you have a strong sales service team then it helps you in improving your sales more so this is the presentation what i have to give you an idea of what we are doing and uh, what is our area of operation thank you thank you thank you i think uh, very well presented and you are a very experienced company with with about four decades of uh, uh you know success in multiple products in uh, small goods in uh, large white goods and so on so forth and had relationship management with a lot of these iconic global names which is very very important because and we'll start with this relationship you know because this has a full cycle licensing it looks like very simple it has a, a very strong uh, defined cycle from from the first stage which is business planning because any licensee when you really take on the board you have to really spend time in forecasting what business needs to be done over next 5 7 years and you write that a lot of time people do mistake and a lot of young uh, licensees which come to us and at bradford also and and actually sometimes do that they overestimate themselves and they over expect from the brand to really create miracles for them without having their own distribution capabilities in place and i have seen a lot of programs actually failing down because they don't have distribution so you rightly said it's a combination of a strong brand and strong distribution uh, it is has to be uh, uh, if you have one of them missing your program really collapses so how do you really plan like we have just now uh, done a big deal with you on acer let's take an acer example when you really was thinking of acer how how you really thought through a brand why you selected the brand second what kind of uh, projections when you did we don't have to go in absolute numbers but we we can just put up a idea that how do you really forecast 
how do you forecast over five years that the brand would play? And you are also risking because brand also has a global play going on. Sometimes their own dynamics changes and it can impact your business also. We have seen in, in other cases like a, a programs like Kodak, Polaroid, a lot of these programs when we did, their global strategies, their global positioning changed uh, a lot of things. And sometimes they also do some wrong programs in a particular market, which damages uh, uh, them. You know, strong brands like Kevin, uh, Calvinator was one time very strong, uh, not so strong now because they had some in between, some wrong programs. Similarly, a lot of other names I don't want to take, but fundamentally, how do you really plan that strategy? So basically, strategy starts with uh, customers because uh, we need to really understand what are our strengths, what are our products, and which kind of customers we want to really go and uh, reach to those kind of customers. So one thing which was there is the category of brand. So we, of course, have our own brands. So it's possible to go with our own brand all over India. But taking our own brand has a cost and risk associated with it. And more importantly, the time which it takes to reach to these consumers, targeted consumers. So the current scenario, probably last uh, three, four years, the better approach is to use these uh, licensing agreement route to reach to your target customer in the smallest possible time and also get the benefit of uh, categories. Like uh, MEPL cannot be put into the category one or premium brand. So if we get a license of a brand, which is category one brand, then it becomes easy to get those kind of products, which may be category one product, and it will be uh, less time consuming to reach to these consumers. So our idea was first uh, to get into that category one products and with the help of brand, reach those target customers. In case of Acer's, of course, uh, we wanted to get into small appliances segment. And we were looking for a brand which has a national presence because we were looking out. Of course, now sales strategies are also changing. It has become much easier with digital marketing and online marketing to reach to the consumer target consumers in the smallest possible time. And uh, Second factor, which uh, of course made us to think about this licensing is the consumer awareness about brand. See, if your brand is not known to consumer, then uh, consumer uh, will take time to accept your brand. So there is, it is given almost that consumer is aware of, about brands nowadays because most of the consumer who wants to buy these products, particularly electronic products, they, most of them, there was a survey, recent survey, in fact, and which states that uh, almost, I think, 40% people before buying, they visit online and they check the brands, they check their presence, they check their feedbacks, and then they decide to buy. So it is an influencing factor that uh, the brand awareness is there and brand needs to be present. So in case of Acer, uh, we thought, uh, Acer, of course, is known, uh, well known in IT industry. And it is already known to uh, known all over India. So it will be a good idea to get into the licensing agreement with a brand which has good positive image, good presence all over India. It's only category which is making difference. So if people are using one category of product, they tend to buy another product, category of product if they are satisfied with the first product. So what we got the feedback from our own sources that Acer has good presence, good positive image all over India. So it will be easy for us to get uh, to our target customer in best possible way is through licensing with such brand. And Acer was the possibly the right choice which we made. Of course, Taiwan is also a factor because we were looking for brands which are from good countries as well, because nowadays even brands have some relevance with the country from which these brands are coming. Even though there are some other brands, some countries are having much bigger brands. We were having offers from those com companies, brands as well.
but uh, we were reluctant to go for these kinds of parts. Taiwan is having comparatively a good image, good ethics, business ethics, and uh, good uh, corporate practices. And of course, Acer is one of them. So we decided to go with uh, Acer. And whole idea is to give good products to consumer through Acer brands. Because of course, customers are also expecting more from, uh, from manufacturers. They expect more uh, features in products. They expect innovative products. And uh, if you have good products, innovative products, which nowadays it is becoming easy to get such kind of licensing as well. And uh, then it's easy to reach to our, to our own target customers. And of course, get a good, uh, since it is placed in good category, it's, uh, it has cost benefits as well. So that is how uh, our idea was to get into this uh, Acer agreements. And of course, we got two categories uh, licensed for, from Acer. One is small appliances and other one is medical devices. Since they are in IT, they have reputed brands, they have good presence. We thought uh, uh, smaller uh, medical devices with Acer brand will be the good proposition to our targeted customers. So that is that was the idea which helped, uh, which uh, got us with the ASAP. And of course, Devu was also similar idea. We wanted to put Devu into better category, better revenues, and uh, Devu is also having good presence all over India. Of course, they were not there uh, in the recent years, but uh, their brand equity and brand value was good. Yeah, absolutely. And I think uh, you, you rightly said, and I was uh, very surprised when you chose the medical uh, devices because a lot of people just think conventional. They don't think that the, the, there has to be a larger purpose for a brand. And for Acer, it's technology, it's cutting edge technology. And that's something goes into a lot of other practices. Uh, it goes into not only uh, the electronics part of it, but it goes into medical equipment. It goes to other uh, uh, other categories also. And, uh, and that was a good mix. And actually, rather... Medical equipment was a much bigger uh, category because there's not many bigger brands in those categories. You know, so in medical equipment, uh, especially smaller medical equipments, you don't have that. You know, so there is a huge and wide opportunities available in sectors like that, and that's where actually Bradford does a lot of study now because we we work with companies to really go deeper into this category, which I think there is a category creator opportunity also. It would not be surprising to me that you become a big category creator for, us, say, medical, uh, small medical devices, uh, because there's nobody who's who would be our brand there. But when it goes to television, there are many, many players which are going to be available. Okay. And the competition margins are becoming a problem. So I think it's a it's a combination of a brand distribution and innovation now. Uh, what we have discussed, so innovation also very important, and product development uh, is a very very important part on on the licensing program. So I'll take one question and then I'll pass it on to Watsal for his uh, part of question. You know, when you start the licensing program, give us a, a little journey and it will be important for our audience to really know that how does the whole program really work? What is your go-to market? That's one part of the question. Second part, online has become a very significant, faster way to reach out to the market uh, versus conventional journal trade and things like that, which, which, which takes a lot of time. So... While this is a good strategy to do that, but it's also uh, sometimes very short-lived in that sense because uh, general trade was very big long-term programs and because still large part of India comes in. So how do you really plan when you start with the program? Uh, what is the you know, go-to-market timeline which you have and then how do you create different kind of channels? And most importantly, how do you address price points? Because online would start putting a different discount. General trade has a different structure. Uh, modern trade has a different structure. How do you really control different price point? Yeah, that's the challenge possibly. That's the challenge we are facing. Uh, probably this is uh, last probably one year because of COVID pandemic and other things. Uh, though licensing strategy is a long-term strategy, uh, when it comes to the selling and marketing of these brands, uh, COVID-19 has put us uh, in a lot of difficulties for since for last maybe eight, nine months. And uh, probably it will continue for another six months or so. 
so these difficulties are basically challenges for us but when we say challenges it's an in a way indirectly it's an opportunity for us as well of course uh, digital marketing is another emerging area digital marketing and online sales is another emerging area which one cannot uh, avoid even though we have channel presence but digital online marketing is something which uh, uh, push us to another uh, level as well in terms of uh, offering in terms of pricing in terms of service in terms of logistic but uh, online of course has its own demands as i said when we sell online uh, first factor which comes in is the brand brand image brand presence brand feedback and brand satisfaction level so which we need to take care and that is where uh, we decided to associate it with the world's uh, well known brands so that it helps us in promoting these products online so and of course there was a feedback uh, from a research company saying that whenever somebody is buying online or offline they always refer to the online presence of that particular brand or brand's presence all over uh, uh, online online presence and its uh, feedback so that was again a driving point we one has to be very clear when we uh, when the since you asked for the process of licensing one needs to be very clear what product they want to get into and whether the brand which they are associating with add could add add value value to this proposition to the end consumer whether the consumer will look at this com composition of brand and product uh, as a, a value added service to them they look into positive uh, aspect of it and it it will help in uh, improving the sales because ultimate aim is to improve the sales sales in terms both of course bottom top line and bottom line and uh, in case of uh, acer of course one needs to take care uh, whether brand would add value to your product what we you want to give it to consumer secondly is the category category in which you want to place these brands whether the brand which you are associating fits into that category or not probably you will think it is category 1 brand but it may not be category 1 brand so one need to reassess before uh, getting into these licensing whether that brand is really in that category and secondly what it comes is the pricing once you decide category then it becomes easy for pricing because you will be compared with the similar brands in that category and then it becomes pricing uh, pricing much easier to do it of course now there are challenges uh, because uh, in the category you get uh, various brands many brands and the pricing fluctuation is much much more and that's where uh, brand uh, image brand equity and brands uh, perceived value matters and uh, in case of acer of course uh, we we have not seen any any of the problems any of these problems in fact it was more of a value addition to us and uh, that is where we got into this agreement pricing of course based on category but offline and online pricing uh, is the challenge to many many manufacturers and uh, we handle that with uh, different kinds of uh, product category the product category which is available offline is normally not we, we do not sell online and that is how we take care of pricing as such so different kind of product uh, mix what we use in offline and online because the, that conflict is still there it exists and uh, there are certain difficulties in the pricing as well but what we handle through is uh, with the uh, different kinds of models and different pricing strategy with the different features online and offline sure i over to you vatsal for your questions thank you so much mr jain that's really wonderful to hear about uh, the journey of sky electronics coming from the past uh, you know 3 4 decades okay uh, and having that kind of a plethora of experience of managing so many brands uh, in various categories also and the way you have actually created so many successful stories uh, so that's really wonderful to hear uh, so uh, mr jain we as a you know uh, 
as an audience, I would like to understand, you know, uh, being a, your one of the partners or at the association also, uh, how, what, what were the you know, challenges that you faced? Because you've already created so many success stories, okay. But yeah, but, uh, you know, moving uh, throughout the journey, uh, I'm sure you have uh, seen the pros and cons of licensing. So what, you know, viewpoints or what, uh, you know, uh, aspects that you thought, okay, this is something which we need to work further or which we need to work more to create that kind of, uh, you know, uh, 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 <clears throat> portfolio or the success. Okay. So I would like to understand a couple of challenges, you know, while working out the, it can be in terms of the innovation, it can be in terms of the technology, it can be in terms of uh, the vision of the brand, whether it was able to match or not, okay, whatever the expectation of the brand. So, you know, uh, how, how you were able to, you know, create that uh, thing and how you were able to manage those. I think first uh, and foremost uh, important factor is the consumer brand awareness. And along with the brand awareness, what comes uh, in uh, consumers, uh, consumers expectation, more expectation from the brand. And now expectations are in terms of uh, new products, new product specifications, new features in the product, and of course, good service level as well. So customers are expecting good service levels now. Earlier, maybe it, take, it used to take one day for service. Now customer expect service in half a day or in hours time. So good service is more expectation which comes along with the brand awareness which is there in consumer and they expect good products. So you need to have the product which are in line with the industry, in line with the customer expectation and that's, that's going to be a challenge because the consume uh, life cycle of the product is nowadays much shorter as compared to it used to be earlier. Because when consumer decides to buy, they want to buy something which is latest, which is comparable in that category. So that's the challenge. You need to have uh, on run with your product specification and of course pricing because consumer also sees benefits. Though nowadays, because of consumer awareness, I think uh, consumers are willing to pay a little more for brands. They will not buy, buy product which is not branded or not known brand. They will pay some premium to branded product, but at the same time, their expectations are also more from the manufacturer because we are product manufacturer as well as sales and service company. So they expect better product. They, of course, expect better service. And we need to use innovative, proper marketing strategy to reach to them. And with the online various social media and digital marketing and other things, we need to remain in touch with them. If consumer is having one product of our, or our brand, then he is likely to buy another product, maybe even in different category, if he is satisfied with the existing product, what he is having. So it becomes a more of a challenge to the companies to provide better service because of better awareness. So what uh, one needs to keep in mind is product quality, product uh, innovation, good marketing, and best possible service to consumer. That helps to improve your sales. And, uh, I think uh, that that is a win-win situation for uh, licensee as well as license. I mean, uh, branding, uh, brand licensing, and in retail it helps. I have at least uh, we we have experienced that with these brands, we have grown fast enough. It has helped us to grow faster. It has helped us to improve revenue, goes to certain extent, not beyond the category what we are in. But one needs to be very careful in uh, getting the license with the brands which fits into that category. Of course, then brand other things, uh, uh, one needs to take care. Of course. I... So that's the idea, of course, we have. And that is how we are going ahead with these uh, brands. And yeah. of course, nowadays, what I have seen uh, in the recent uh, uh, licensing agreement is the more and more flexibility these brands are giving to the manufacturers. So they are giving more flexibility, they are giving more uh, room for innovation of products, then adding new things. 
of course, new softwares, new features, new benefits. So, of course, new new things are new keeps coming. For example, in LED uh, TVs, now smart functions are becoming common. Now, customer expects is artificial intelligence even in the television segment. So, if customer is seeing a particular channel more times, then they want that channel to come first. The moment they switch on TV, so that kind of uh, innovations needs to be done regularly. Of course, quality and improvement is a part of it. Sure, absolutely. And I think uh, you rightly said that that's something which is a uh, more licensees and brand owners are becoming more flexible. And there's some companies which are purely licensing brands now, and so right. they are, uh, that there has to be a breathing structure uh, and a lot of innovation because. Businesses are changing faster than you know. Technology is changing faster than you know. A lot of disruption is happening in the in market. So, so brands have to have that kind of uh, you know flexibility in terms of working with potential licensees. Uh, gone are the days where you just only would give you a very rigid licensing program because the product innovation has become so big now that almost every second day we have something which is changing and happening. So as we're coming into the end of our program, uh, any messages which you would like to pass to Mr. Jain in terms of our, our audience, which uh, your experience, that's one. Second, what is the vision of Sky? Where is the Sky going? Are these more licenses uh, in pipeline or you feel a new categories which would open up? Actually, this is a new trend. We have realized over the last two, three uh, years that this is a new trend which is beneficial to uh, both both the brand and as well as uh, companies which are make manufacturing products. And it helps uh, retailers to the great extent. So it's a good idea and we always uh, open to various brands in different categories. Of course, one brand may not fit into all the kinds of categories what we are looking into. But uh, of course, it is all, we are always open and we look forward to get into these brands for different categories. Of course, as and when we look for this expansion in these categories. But of course, now world has come very uh, closer. It has become much easier to have products outsourced as well. So it's a good strategy for sales and marketing company to get product, get brands, and it's a win-win situation for both of them to reach to their target customers. And of course, customers is also satisfied in this <laughs> entire arrangement. So yes. licensees are happy, licensor are happy, and customers are happy. So if if it if it is used rightly, yeah, yeah. It is so not that, uh, when it is done rightly, it's a win-win situation. And if it is not done rightly, it also can be a long-term obligations and litigation and things of that nature. So so licensing is a very careful planning and strategy. Um, exactly. and, uh, seamless execution. The both things have to be done. I think uh, what I should compliment Sky is and with your experience uh, and leading the team that you come with a very, uh, what I call, uh, not so aggressive approach to this licensing. You are a very well thought company. You go very in depth before you take any decision to commit yourself. And once you commit, then you go out and honor what your commitment is. So we are really happy to have you on board. Uh, thank you for, uh, for joining us. I would like to have one last question also uh, from uh, Mr. Chen. Mr. Chen, uh, you know, while you have been managing so many international brands, you know, uh, coming from Taiwan and all of that, uh, what would be your thoughts, you know, if we work out some good, reputed national brands? We are already having a good national brands in the Indian market, and they have been really want this actually. So maybe a brand like HCL, maybe a brand like Cisco. So they have actually created a, you know, a, a great uh, <clears throat> that value the uh, consumer electronics market. Started off with uh, any small appliances, they have been, they have actually done what this. What are your thoughts of working out with the national brand and you know, uh, uh, working out a licensing with a, a, a brand with that uh, a portfolio? Actually, that's going to be a long term strategy, very long term strategy to develop Indian brands, get Indian brands, and get make Indian brands to the level of uh, some of the international brands. That's going to be a long-term strategy. Of course, we also have some strategy in place. And uh, of course, uh, Indian brands uh, will have good sentiments. Currently, it's a good sentiments in India and it, it will help. And uh, these 
brands needs to be careful in uh, uh, handling their uh, target customers and if hand handled well i don't see any any problem in getting these brands uh, under our fold as well i also believe you know the kind of support uh, the kind of uh, already existing customer base that you can capitalize with the indian brands you know maybe if i talk about a brand like a bajaj or a, uh, you know a siska or hcl already having that kind of a, you know existing customer base and i know maybe you can actually uh, we can actually and the kind of support also they can you know uh, provide us in terms of the indian uh, marketing strategies or maybe the placement of the products so that their distribution their existing distribution channels also can be explored in a wider range because they already have that so uh, so that's there so i really it's really wonderful to have you uh, mr jain that was uh, an amazing session with you any any last thoughts that you would like to share uh, for the upcoming uh, you know opportunities that we are seeing in the consumer electronics market in india see yeah, what i currently see is the challenges which we face in sales because of covid 19 you need to have different skill set because things have changed the same approach will not help and uh, in case of sales earlier a lead generation and uh, probably the market awareness was uh, online and offline both but uh, the second negotiation and communication had changed now there is no personal meetings happenings now so it has be it will be a challenge for sales staff to convince customers through such meetings or through telephonic calls and uh, that skills or that changes needs to be developed in order to uh, get success in these kinds of situation of course i don't think this situation will remain for a long time but still it will remain for at least next 6 months that's what i feel and uh, one needs to change accordingly i don't know whether they, that change will remain for longer period or not possibly yes then in that case those changes companies need to adopt and go accordingly that's going to be the new challenge for the companies sure right and uh -huh. thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to put across my views to your uh, target audiences and, uh, thank you very much thank you very much thank you so much thank you Thank you.